Alrighty, y'all. It's Russell back with Gwinnett Lawns in beautiful and very cold Atlanta, Georgia. It is February the 6th, 2020, and it is about, well, it's, I think it's about 37 degrees today. Uh, yesterday we had terrible storms. We had tornado come through here. Fortunately, it did not touch down. Uh, it was very, very close, like a mile or two from here. But anyway, it was almost 70 degrees yesterday and it's 37 today and it's just ridiculous. Um, and actually it's been snowing off and on today. No accumulations. So I want to tell you guys about a very new addition. If you're uh, subscribed to my Instagram page, you've already seen it. If not, then I'm going to tell you about it now. So for the 2019 season and part of the 2020 season i have been using the 89 chevy k1500 pickup with my 5x10 trailer now that's a great setup the um the reason that i went with the trailer you can go back and, and watch that video but to say the least it a lot of compromises had to be made on that uh, number one is my driveway my driveway is very short i live in um a neighborhood where the, a lot of the houses are closer to the street. We've got enormous backyards, but anyway, I've got one of the houses that have a shorter driveway and there's not much room here. I live on a hill. It's very dangerous to try to back in because people can't see me when I'm backing in and on and on and on. But it's been a great setup. I love it. Uh, it's not going anywhere. However, I decided that for 2020, I'm going to have a new rig for the business, for the lawn care business. And part of that decision was made because I've got to get an additional mower and I can't fit another mower on my trailer. It's already got the Honda and the right stander and I need to get a walk behind mower because I've got a lot of yards that have a lot of steep hills and as awesome as the right stander is, all zero turn mowers are not the best at side sloping because some of the some of the yards I just can't cut up and down so I've got to get a walk behind they are much more stable on hills so with that being said uh, there are some other inherent problems that I have found out over 2019 a lot of the neighborhoods that I service I call them postage stamp lots they are so close together that even as short as my setup is I end up almost blocking people's driveways. They kind of get mad at me. Um, I don't like having my equipment out in the open. In the summer, I've gotten caught in several rainstorms and uh, I can't carry everything that I need on the trailer. Uh, even if I had a bigger trailer, you know, I probably should have an enclosed trailer. Um, so anyway, there's a whole host of, of issues that I needed something that would fix all those and for those people that say well if you have something else you know if, you, if it breaks down then you're out of business I got stranded one time with my truck I had to call a friend of mine to come get it just pull my trailer because it was full of equipment so your truck can break down the trailer can break down it's two and one half dozen of the other anyway with that being said I want to show you guys what I'm going to be using for 2020 and the foreseeable future. Wait for it. Wait for it. Oh, what's that? Did somebody park a box truck in my driveway? All right, guys, so what we've got here is a 2019 Chevy low cab forward. 4500. This is the exact same truck as an Isuzu NPR HD. I'm going to just give you guys a quick walk around on it. It has a 16 foot Conyers body truck box. All right, it's 91 inches wide, and I got this one a foot taller because I don't want to hit my head on the the side or the top when I go in but um, we'll just do a real quick walk around this is the 
big block six liter GM gas engine. As much as I love diesel, I will never buy a diesel car or truck that uses diesel exhaust fluid. I've got double bifold ramps on the back. I also have a very uh, robust hitch with trailer brake controller and hookup if I need to use that. And I've got a locking cabinet right here that will hold my gas cans. And I'm going to do other videos. I just wanted to do a quick video for you guys right now. Um, so my plan is to um, get this entire vehicle lettered up with my <clears throat> logo and signage and all that. So this will be a rolling billboard. I uh, don't know how that's going to go over in the neighborhood, but I don't really care business is business this thing is just it just dwarfs but I want to I want to show you guys the length difference so we're almost the same length but I want to show you guys how much shorter this is you know this is about um, eight feet actually if you if you evened it up it would be all, it's almost 10 feet shorter and that's a 16 foot box so it's going to hold a lot of stuff but anyway i've already met with my uh sign guy who's going to do that for me will be graphics on the side the back and the front over the cab but yeah there it is I got to tell you guys, if you have never driven one of these things, it is quite a treat. In fact, let me, um, I don't have the key with me, but anyway, it's, uh, this thing is the sharpest turning, sharpest turning vehicle I have ever in my life driven. It is ridiculous. It's just incredible, but I'll, I'll do some other videos, driving videos, give you a more in-depth walk around go inside the box. My plans for inside the box are going to be to put the e-track on the floor and it will be on the walls. So the truck and trailer are going nowhere. They will remain here. The only thing that the truck and the trailer have an advantage for is when I do pine straw or cleanups. That's it. Uh, other than that, the box truck will be able to consume all this not the motorcycle but all of my lawn stuff it'll all be organized and i'll be able to have an additional mower in there with plenty of room and shelving and all that i'm going to do that so uh, yeah i'm excited to get this going and you know it was a it was a pretty i don't know kind of scary decision to to do it but i will this this truck will make me a lot more efficient for my customers and I'll be able to be able to have all the services that I need to do uh, available when I stop at somebody's somebody's house. I won't have to say, well, I'll have to come back and get this or get that. So anyway, so guys, if you have not subscribed, please do so. Please hit that uh, bell next to the subscription button and you will be notified of the videos as I upload them. There's a ton more videos to come and I will talk to you guys on the next video.